but we're about it. It's just me, Eva. Not gonna lie, just shed some tears. I'm trying a new little project. I was learning all about melodies today and how to write them and then how to like trust myself with what I've written to, to feel like, yeah, that's a good melody or bad melody. And I learned a lot of different stuff. I started going into Jacob Collier, which was super interesting. He seems like a savant. Um, but while I was watching him talk, I had this idea because he talks about this relationship between, we're talking about melody. I'm talking about the relationship between one note to another and like the sequence of notes is what creates a melody and the spacing between each one of them is is what affects um what affects the melody as well and i was just thinking about like okay how can i use my life to kind of um think about melody you know how can i use what's happened to me in the past to like thoughtfully write a melody <laughs> and i started thinking like i should use my family members as people to write about because boy oh boy do they make me feel a lot of things and uh and like if I could use them to to personify relationships between notes um I think I would have a I would definitely have a certain approach to how those notes would go together <clears throat> so anyway I just started writing um I started writing some words about my family members and and uh, how I feel towards them and and just feel towards things in general, you know, and and it was very emotional because family is hard and life is hard and um, there was a couple lines that I really liked that I wrote at the end. Um, I'll read them real quick. Uh, I merely exist in this fucked up fantasy where we both live in abundance. Utopia is here. Have your water, shelter, and your friends around, but feel as if you have nothing near. That is our place here on earth right now. Things might end before our life expectancies burn out. The only fortune that gets me by is the perspective shift I constantly employ. That is one way to look, but there is another one just as true, because what we make up in our heads is how we get through, <laughs> which is kind of just like, we, I was listening to this podcast recently and it, it was really striking with me. It was about addiction and it was talking about how, uh, like how this woman gets clients, um, who are addicts and how she hears about like you know what their days are looking like and they're struggling with depression and they're struggling with anxiety and you know she'll look at their days and they're you know playing video games for tons of hours which is not to say video games are bad they can definitely be super helpful um but playing video games and then smoking and then watching tv for hours and it's like you know, when we're so clocked into our devices and, and we're just moving from one thing to another and we don't get outside and all that stuff, everything is so euphoric at first and it's so fun. Like, you know, you get to hang out, play video games and you get to watch TV and then you get to do this and then, you know, you get to eat whenever you want or whatever. It's like, that's there's so much abundance there. Um, that with all that abundance, it's like, we get so many dopamine rushes that we forget or like our bodies get used to it and then suddenly it's like normal things don't give us the normal dopamine hits that we would get otherwise because there are so many like pleasurable things to do nowadays which I just thought was super interesting it's like you know you could be doing what what the media is telling you to do you know or just like what's normal for your age group and not realizing that a lot of what you're doing is is taking advantage advantage of your dopamine centers and therefore making it like, way harder for you to just exist in life because um, you're so used to it. Which is to say, like, you know, we, in America, it's, like, very first world problems for a lot of us. And uh, one of those problems is, like, overabundance. And, like, it makes things, like, get out of context really quickly and makes us start feeling like, like, you know, what we have isn't good enough or isn't fulfilling. And it's because like, that's what 
advertisements want us to feel you know they want us to feel like we have we 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 need more we we should buy this item you know um marketing preys on your feelings of uh you know not feeling good enough you know self-consciousness um so anyway just a note like (laughs) that we're uh it's hard to be human right now and it's hard to just feel normal because a lot of things are working against you so and i just want to send a lot of love out to everybody and especially if you have weird family shit i relate and i love you guys and you're not the only one feeling that shit it's a lot of us who feel that shit and we're all in it together What are you doing? What do you see? Guys, Binks Binks sees something like, for real, for real. Look at that concentration. She's just in this. She's like a freaking statue. Did you guys ever play that game, Museum, like in acting class, where you like move when the inspector, oh, she moved, when the inspector (laughs) isn't looking? And if they catch you moving, then you lose the game. (laughs) What is she? (gasps) What? (gasps) What is it? What's going on? (gasps) Hi. (laughs) (laughs) What's up, guys? I just wanted to show off, like, the largest sweet potato I think I've ever gotten. So just, like, prepare yourself. Because are ye matey? Yeah, like, this is my head, and this is the sweet potato. Like, I could wear it as, like, a freaking crown. How absurd. Um, also, super excited, because today I'm getting my first tattoo. And I could not be more pumped. It's, like, barbed wire ring around my bicep. My super strong bicep. Um, yeah definitely Pamela Anderson influenced but I've been dreaming about this for like I don't even know like almost like a year and a half now so it's finally becoming reality and I'm so excited so of course I'm gonna see if I can film during but if I can I'll show you after obviously peace and love like it could be an L love She just got her first tattoo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And now I need to wait five days with my fake skin on. And then after the fake skin is done, then I can take it off and I need to put lotion on it twice a day and wash it with dial soap or Dr. Bronner's, keep it out of the sun for two weeks and anything else. I think that's it, but it looks so pretty and I'm really, 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 really happy. but I'm out here in the woods just went to a new park that I've passed before that's in a different direction than the park that I usually go to and I'm lame and I forgot what it's called but I have a feeling I'll be back there's a really great spot where there's a bench and then the whole city skyline behind it it looks so pretty pardon me as I walk up this hill I'm super excited because I just got two film cameras and one of them came yesterday and I was gonna go shooting today, but it's raining. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do a little shoot on the inside and see how that goes. Cause I really just wanna get it developed and see how the pictures turn out. Had to wait until I was up the hill. 
But anyway, gorgeous day. So bright and shiny. Can do all the things like film outside. Um, yeah, actually the first time I passed this park, I was walking from like over there, like more in the city to my house. And I passed this park and I was like, oh, I never walked this way. I should go check it out. And I'm glad I did. Scoped out a lot of cool spots. Also, super excited because all my, all of the um, analog, the analog, the film cameras I got uh, have cell timers. So I can still photograph myself because I'm super into me. JK, but like this is the life of an artist. I was thinking about this. Like being an artist is like kind of like being straight up about like, yeah, I'm trying to sell myself versus other people trying to sell products and be like, no, this is really good for you. Versus like me being like, no, I just want you to like me. <laughs> Slash my shit. Slash more my shit. You don't have to like me, but just like like the shit that I make.
<laughs> but it's, it's but actually a really good haircut. But you can't cut into my curl. It's a really yeah, I have no closet nearby. You, know what? you should have seen it when the guy did it. This did this for two months after. <laughs> I just did karaoke and I had a really good time at the Billy Goat Scruff. JK, it's not called that. It's called the like scruffy goat, the skirt, the surly goat. That's what it's called. Anyway, it was super fun. I sang TikTok, obviously, Kesha for life. And then I sang, you're the one that I want. It's a banger, always is. That's like my go-to karaoke song. Anyway, love you all. Sup world, how y'all doing? Hey. It's me, Ava. I'm tired as fuck. Let me tell you why. Last week, I did more things than I've done in a month. Okay, back up. I was not feeling my best the first month of being sober because I think my body was detoxing. Then last week, I was like, yeah, my energy is pretty much back. And so I was like, let's do this. Let's get in it. And so I went out on Tuesday night to Space Yacht, Tech My House, and Abo was playing. Shout out. Um, also, Hida did a DJ set before him, who I didn't, he, I hadn't known beforehand. So shout out Hida. His shit is dope. Um, what else? Oh, and then on Wednesday, I went to the Surly Goat, which is in. She's in Wayho. Wayho, everybody said Wayho. It's West Hollywood. That's what that means. Um, I did uh, karaoke because a lot of my coworkers go and do that. And I was like, sure, I'll come. I sang TikTok and um, I did the Summer Lovin'. Summer Lovin' happened so fast. Wait, no. I did, you're the one that I want. You're the one that I want. You are the one I want, ooh, 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 honey. The one that I want, you are the one I want, ooh, 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 the one I need. Oh, yes, indeed. Um, that was sick. Got home late that night, like, one. So, I think that's where this all started to make me tired as hell. And then on, what was it? On Saturday, I did a photo shoot. I mean, obviously, I usually, I mean, I guess it's not obvious for people who don't know me, but... Hey, I'm Ava, by the way. <laughs> Thanks for finding yourself on my YouTube channel. Um, I usually do all my own photo shoots. You know, I've got a camera. I've got an iPhone. I've got... Now, I've got two film cameras. Actually, still waiting on one in the mail. But I just got my film back from my first shoot with my film camera. And it was pretty blurry. But there were still some cool shots. And now I think I know what the fuck I'm doing. So, like, growth. Um, but this was the first time I'd had somebody hired to take my pictures. And it went really well. She, her name is Jessie. Tall Tangerine. Check her out. Insta if you need photos. She's really into food photography. She's fucking badass at it. But she was great at this, too. We had a ton of fun. We went... So, beforehand, I did a lot of pre-work for the whole... For the whole food... Food shoot. The photo shoot. Um, I had... The week before, scouted out all the locations. I had taken pictures of them with my DSLR. And then I went and took pictures of me in all my outfits, like, in my driveway right here. And then I, like, photoshopped the outfits on top of the landscapes that I wanted to, like, mood board the fuck out of it. So, when we got to do the actual photo shoot, she knew exactly what I wanted. Um, which I think was a little confusing at first, but then it started to make a lot of sense. And, holy shit, these pics turned out so well. I'm really excited and proud of the work that we did. I think we planted a seed to do some fucking music videos. Ooh. 
Um, just gotta save up my money so I can afford it. Um, but Yarg, what else? Um, <clears throat> uh, oh, I met a new person at work. Work gives me so many good people. Um, who does like fashion, literally works at a screen printing facility. And one of the next, like, I have like seven things on my like list of how I make it to where I want to go musically artistically soulfully and one of them is branding and like that means like I wanted to have this vision for like sweatshirts like zipper sweatshirts and then like a logo on the back and then like wife beater tees with this like small logo on the front and he's like oh I work on we like we can make it happen and I was like wow the universe sometimes gives you what you need so hell yeah anyway and then yesterday i got to see my dad for the first time in like a couple months so that was nice we got to go get lunch with the fam so um and then i've just been you know consistently working four days a week at my restaurant job and your girl is freaking tired i'm so tired i've got a headache i just took one of those things it's like you know headache for headache and but like got caffeine in it excedrin I think is the name anyway sometimes when I take those it just gives me more of a headache so we'll see how this one pans out anyway you caught me going to go grocery shopping but I was thinking like I need to speak first because sometimes when I talk I like talk myself out of my headache you know sometimes it works like that anyway so I just thought I'd talk to you people beautiful gorgeous people and fuck i've been a little late on uploading my vlogs because obviously i'm just doing so much i'm just like so booked no but for real i just have been trying to finish these songs and my head's in like literally a zillion places anyway that is to say i'm still alive and well i hope you are too you can do your dreams just keep up the hard work and don't give up because you know success could be right around the corner you don't know so just keep up the work. About to go check out Bub and Grandma's Bakery, which is the bread that my restaurant uses and that I've fallen in love with. And now that my guy at work doesn't give me bread, I need to find the replacement for that bread. And the replacement for that bread would be the bread. So I'm on my way. I'm on my way woods on um, to go check out the bakery. Apparently it's popping. It's like swarm. So take you with me. So it looks like they only sell sandwiches, which is like probably great, but I wanted the loaf of bread, which I think you have to get the farmer's market. So, but um, that's okay. Got to go see the, see the sights. And yeah, if you were curious, I did just drive there and get nothing, but I'm on my way to go grocery shopping anyway. So I just went on an adventure. Sometimes you're allowed to do that.